see what I can do for the future of this uh, LA Laker team. So, obviously with a lot of players and pieces that are going to need to be moved and replaced and yada 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 in the offseason, can't really do much this current season. Since uh, there's no start today in the NBA or anything like that, just going to be taking this team how it is right now and seeing what we can do with it. So make sure you like the video if you like the video. Like the video if you also thought it did a good job or if you can do anything different. Definitely comment down below. Maybe some other teams as well. I think next rebuild, I pinky, I pinky, 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 pinky promise I'll do a actual rebuild for the team that needs it. I feel like I've done too many of these, I don't know, NBA caliber, championship caliber teams, championship, you know, aspiration teams. I really need to do a longer rebuild with some of these teams very soon. Alrighty, so with, like I said, the first season, just going to be simulating the entire season. Can't do any trades, can't do anything else because in real life, the trade season is already done and over with, so have a come with the, have some of the, uh, normal sort of the winners here uh, for the MVP and rookie of the year and all that stuff. LeBron actually made all NBA first team, which he probably he probably will also get in real life as well. Oh, 81 L NBA 13. That's pretty good. Don't think it's going to happen in real life. Lakers in my little uh, 2K simulation got the sixth seed. Definitely not bad. Definitely could have been a lot worse going up against the Utah Jazz, which actually might be kind of a, a nice matchup for the LA Lakers. That did We'll see how it goes in 2K terms, but everything looks pretty realistic, actually, for the most part. Yeah, everything still actually looks pretty realistic. This is actually pretty good. Uh, pretty good little uh, 2K sim. Ooh, we actually take game one as well. Hey, yeah, see, I told you guys. Oh, we're up to <laughs> two games to nothing. Oh, no. Please, God, no. Oh, no. <laughs> we're up two to nothing in this playoff series. And, uh, man, I mean, man, I said this before. If Utah actually is another first round outing this season, man, they better watch out for Donovan Mitchell to leave. Oh no. 3 3. Oh, come on, LeBron. Come on. If we can make it past this round, it'll be a successful season. Okay, well, it's not. <laughs> oh, that's bad luck. Honestly, like I said, that might that might have been the best bet for the Lakers in, in, in not only 2K, but also in real life to have a series like this. But man, LeBron <sighs> couldn't, couldn't get enough. And yeah, uh, LeBron recently in my 2K in all of them have been too crazy. Obviously, can't really make him go, you know, 29 and whatever, how many points he's averaging. And uh, in real life, he's not doing that in 2K ever, which kind of sucks. But just going to be simulating the rest of the year. Oh, we, we, we know the Lakers this year probably aren't going to win the title, even at full strength, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I don't think they'll get first round at it, but then again, they need to even make it into the playoffs before we could even have that conversation. But, man, that's, that's pretty rough. Um, definitely have a lot to do in the offseason for sure. Why are the Pelicans doing so good? Oh, because Zion's back. That's right. Um, yeah, even this team with, with without Zion is pretty okay. But yeah, even with Zion, the Pel... The Pel oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so I guess when, when whenever Zion decides to come back this year, uh, they're going to win the championship. So good good for the Pelicans, I guess. <laughs> Man, uh, 2K is, is crazy. This is a wash season anyway. I don't care about the season. We're, we are worried about next season and next season it's going to be very interesting obviously uh russell westbrook maybe we can get a trade off with him i have a couple of other ideas in mind on how to improve the team I'm going to be taking into consideration trading our draft pick so that's going to be interesting so we have a lot of things to do this off season and like i said trading away our draft pick i think is something we have to do uh taylor and tucker really isn't the player type i feel that would really me mesh well with this la laker team I just currently feel like having more shooting and scoring ability is just really what the Lakers need very desperately. Um, and the, the, the Eastern Rockets have a, a, a pretty good piece here that they could offer up, maybe even in real life. I have no idea how well he is in real life, but in 2K he's doing pretty good. And that's with uh, Garrison Matthews. He's a 77 overall in 2K and is, is a shooter. <laughs> so that's really all we really need. So first round pick, Taylor Tucker, kind of really... Uh, I feel like I have to match those guys together to really get someone good back. So I think that's like a really good fit for us. Um, he's a B plus three pointer in 2K. So definitely I think what we need. Also what we need to do is look for, obviously, the, the, the trading of Russell Westbrook. And I don't know how the Lakers can do this in the first place. I have no idea what they're going to be able to do. Uh, I also have no idea if the 
obviously this this trade would give us all the cap space. Spurs, obviously, with Kelvin Johnson, that would be amazing, but that's a little too unrealistic. Um, I could put I could put him on the back of the Wizards. That's kind of weird. And then there's this trade, which I actually kind of really like. Uh, I, I'm sorry if you guys are really tired of seeing Marco Fultz in my rebuilds, but in 2K, he's kind of a beast. And again, being the odd man out in Orlando with obviously Suggs and Cole Anthony being there, even Franz Wagner kind of playing that same sort of big guard role for the team. I think he's maybe the odd man out. And then instead of getting Jonathan Isaac, I actually get Terrence Ross, who could be our new starting two guard uh, at, the, at the shooting guard position, add some 3 and D aspect to the game, giving him a, uh, a, a starting role that he's never really had all that much on uh, pretty much most of his career. So yeah, like taking a look at this new new age Laker team, we have Fultz and Ross, the Magic backcourt with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, end up signing Tony Bradley, uh, who's kind of a youngish big, who can put that center role next to AD pretty well, I feel. Um, and yeah, I re-signed some guys back like Nunn and um, Stanley Johnson, I signed Willie Cole Stein, we got Matthews in that trade. I'm really, I'm, I, th I think I really like this team now. Um, I think the Lakers' big problem going into this current NBA season in real life was the fact that they signed so many veterans and guys who were like 35 plus. And sure, their IQ was really nice, but I think their legs started to not get so well after a long NBA season. But I think with this team, as you can see in 2K, works pretty well having a lot of just solid NBA role players around these guys. We have the Portland Trailblazers, uh, third seed in the NBA, looking pretty good. They re signed. Uh, use of Nurkic, but also got Mitchell Robinson. That's, that's a pretty terrifying uh, dynamic front court in the NBA, I will have to say. We have Paul George and Kawhi Leonard also not doing all that well. I feel like the Clippers are one of those teams that always do pretty bad in, in 2K for some reason. And the Boston Celtics are the number one team in the NBA 2K Eastern Conference. Interesting, the Cavs are right there. The Cavs are also just like a seed right now for the Western Conference, and look at that, LeBron James wins NBA MVP in the year 2023, that's absolutely insane, and then Russell Westbrook coming off the bench for Orlando against six man, which is kind of ironic, Joel Embiid wins Defense Player of the Year, which is also kind of cool, but yeah, pretty, pretty crazy, 2023 NBA season, LeBron MVP, really like that, that's definitely another accolade to add to LeBron's legacy, definitely good for the Lakers as well, so I feel like I'm one stoning this rebuild so far for sure for sure uh, the, the, the Brooklyn Nets are struggling they're kind of actually playing the magic in the first round that could be kind of interesting with KD and KD versus uh, Russell Westbrook there again and we're going against the Spurs in the first round okay I'll take that I'm definitely uh, I'm pretty scared of DeJounte Murray that's for sure and, and I guess I'd rather face them than the, uh, the Denver and Nuggets and the magic actually made it to the playoffs wow with Russell Westbrook that's pretty wild um, but yeah again DeJounte Murray only guy I'm really worried about for the for the San Antonio Spurs here. Just like that, pretty easily beat them, so that's really good. Oh wait, oh my god. Wait, they had Bradley Beal. Holy cow, we swept them out. I'm actually kinda of surprised we swept them. Oh yeah, they also got the number one overall pick. They got uh, Jabari Smith Jr. who's man, definitely uh, would love to have him on Portland. <laughs> the Blazers tank hard enough, he's gonna be a, a really good sort of new stretch for NBA power forward in the for sure, I cannot wait to, to see what he does. The Bay Area the second round. Oh wow, going against the Sacramento Kings, we actually get the dodge, the, the 2K, 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 2K Sim Gods, Pelicans, get a dodge of them, which is really good. Do we have to worry about uh, De'Aaron Fox and Sabonis though, but I'd rather face them than the, than the Pelicans for sure. And the Detroit Pistons in the East are in the second round, which is pretty wild, not sure what's really going on over there. The Miami Heat beat James Harden and Joel Embiid in the first round. Yikes, a lot of things happening. Okay, so we have us losing game one, going up 1-1. One, one. Oh, wow, going down. Yikes, let's not have that happen. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, my God. De'Aaron Fox is daring us a new one, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we need a new defensive scheme here. Uh, I think I might put maybe Terrence Ross on him. I think Terrence Ross is a better defender, so I'm going to make a game plan here. Put Terrence Ross on De'Aaron Fox. Maybe just put a bigger body on him. I don't know. And it uh, looks like it, it got us into game five. Okay, game seven now. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah, I think putting Terrence Ross on, on, on De'Aaron Fox is trying to stop him a little bit more. Might have been, been the move. I know Mark 
Gale's a good perimeter defender, but I'm not sure if he's the best one for that, but we have the Boston Celtics going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's, wow, man, that actually might happen in a couple of years. Boston's definitely on a good roll, and obviously with the up-and-coming Cleveland Cavalier team, that could be definitely next year's, uh, I don't know, Eastern Conference Finals, maybe, maybe not next year's, but a couple of years from now, maybe. We're going against the Memphis Grizzlies, and with these Grizzlies team, not really too worried about them, unless they added another piece secretly, like the, the Spurs did with getting Bradley Beal. Nope, it's just the regular old team there. Anthony Davis is having a really, really, really solid playoff season so far. LeBron not really needed and doing a whole lot. Obviously, when it comes to, you know, NBA Finals time, LeBron starts showing out a little bit more, but our bench and the rest of our team is looking really good to help out with LeBron. Just saving LeBron for that NBA Finals. NBA Finals, what if we make it? And we do make it, obviously. <laughs> Ooh. Going up against the boss and Celtics. Yikes. So we got Tatum and Brown. Oh, God. That's a really tough duo to guard. But I think we should do okay with LeBron and, and Terrence Ross. Oh, maybe not. We lose game one. Well, LeBron has a really good game. But yeah, like I said, just Tatum and Jalen Brown. That's a, that's a tough duo to have to try to guard for an entire series. Okay, game four, up three to one. Oh yeah, there we go, baby. Yeah, <laughs> title number one for your LA Lakers. Oh yeah, that's what you like to see. LeBron James, thirty point, basically thirty point Finals MVP. That's insane. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I I really could end the video there. I am successful. I won the Lakers another NBA title. Well, what fun would that be? Even getting LeBron another Finals MVP. Let's see if we can sort of rack rack up some more some more rings for LeBron and this LA Lakers squad. So um, I think with a lot of these guys, I still have under contract for next season. Like uh, Garrison Matthews, I think he's definitely a piece moving forward. We really need to keep. I think he's a really good scorer. And again, in real life, if you're a Rockets fan, let me know how how that guy's doing in real life. Because in 2K, he's doing really good. But uh, yeah, I guess going on to season number three, season three, season three. Um, taking a look at some things here. Terrence Ross being a 33-year-old going into next season might need to, get, need to get a little bit more younger on the team, adding a little bit more youth. To help out LeBron, putting out with another defender. Not really a guy in real life I very much like seeing, but Grayson Allen in, in 2K is a really good 3 and D player. He plays the, the 3 and D role pretty well. Also younger, he's just going to get better. He's probably, he's, he might even get up to like almost an 80 overall this season if we play well. Uh, get that potential up would be pretty nice. So we get Grayson Allen, that new starting two-guard spot. And your boys swinging for the fences, ladies and gentlemen. This one is definitely kind of realistic, definitely more fantasy. Chris Paul on the Phoenix Suns realizes he can't win a title there. And he might want to try to win one with his best buddy, LeBron James. Trading away a, a youthful guard and more careful to get us a lot to give and a first-round pick for Chris Paul. And probably going to be Chris Paul's final year in the NBA. I think he's turning 40 in the in the 2k sim and we are gonna yep snag him real quick try to give cp3 a, a ring which would be probably pretty amazing then that would be really cool to see even in real life and if this current nba season in real life he can win a ring with the suns that'd be absolutely amazing but we're gonna try to do it with lebron and the lakers here so we have chris paul now at the starting point guard position with grace and allen lebron still have tony bradley there at the five then andy davis at that four spot but our starting five looks looks amazing i really like it and off the bench uh signed for a veteran minimum kevin love yes kevin love hopefully with something left to give in the nba looking like he wants to just go out on, on a nice little championship sunset uh finale to his career kind of like with chris paul i think it's gonna be pretty nice just a nice uh, sniper dagger three-point shooter also with a great outlet pass as well with matthews chris dunn and stanley johnson now this this might be arguably LeBron's most talented team. I mean, obviously with the age, it's pretty bad, but I mean, we have 80 in his prime. Chris Paul at the twilight of his career, and then the guys around him looking pretty good, and the record show still number one in the, in the Western Conference. Atlanta Hawks somehow make a, a pretty surprise run here as the number one team in the East. Don't really get to see that all that often in 2K, and then even the Detroit Pistons are looking pretty good. Then we have the Orlando Magic. We made that trade with Russell Westbrook for her, looking like a solid competitor that's pretty nice and of course the 76ers who are absolutely getting hated on by 2k for some reason and then they like clippers are there at the bottom of the western conference which i don't know why 2k hates the clippers so much man it's pretty it's pretty bad even the pelicans are really struggling now so it looks like we might be the the front runners if the pelicans are really doing pretty bad um we have look at dodgers winning mvp kuminga winning uh what was that Six men of the year. That's actually pretty pretty cool. I 
you can definitely see that happening for sure, for sure. Uh, looking like the All-NBA teams, LeBron actually doesn't make All-NBA first team. That's pretty sad. Oh, he doesn't even make All-NBA second team. Oh, no, LeBron. Well, I guess LeBron's, what, 38 or 39 in this year? Okay, so LeBron and Edie both get All-NBA third team. I'll be, that's okay. As long as LeBron makes a team, I'll be okay. We really want to not only obviously rebuild the Lakers, which is priority number one, but it's nice to have a little bit of a LeBron rally here in this video as well. So we did end up getting the number one seed Atlanta, finishing off with the number one seed as well with their squad. And we're going up against the Houston Rockets. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I wonder who they have on their team that put them in the playoffs. Oh, okay. So they're kind of just like developing their guys a little bit. Oh, never mind. They have Zach Levine off the bench. Okay. That just, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh, well, that's it. That's 2K for you. Zach Levine being a six man. That doesn't make any sense. He would definitely want six men of the year if that was actually a, a thing. But yeah, I'm not too scared of this team. Yeah, up 3-1. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Stop. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, going on to the second round. Oh, actually, the Phoenix Suns are in the second round with the Marco Fultz. Oh, God. And then we're going to go against the MVP, Luka Doncic, in the second round. Pretty scary. But yeah, like I said, the Phoenix Suns, second round with their new head point guard. I think we might have made a mistake in trading away Marco Fultz. He might be on a revenge. So a little, little season here. That's pretty scary. And I'm actually kind of surprised to see the Brooklyn Nets here because they always seem to be a team that struggles a lot in 2K. So I'm actually kind of surprised to see them that far. Um, let's see. Let's see. The MVP, Luka Doncic. I guess we're doing pretty good defensively on him, sweeping them. Well, obviously, yeah, that team really only has Luka. God, Luka's at 98 overall. Man, I might have to do a, another Dallas Maverick rebuild. That was actually the first team I rebuilt in this new 2K the start of the year. I kind of want to rebuild them again and see if I can, you know, really make the Dallas Mavericks look really good. I'm really interested in that. Oh, wow, the Portland Trailblazers make it past the Phoenix Sun team. Oh my god, Damian Lillard is just, he's a god in 2K, man. He just, he literally carries Portland in playoff series in 2K. Um, and it looks like the, the Phoenix Suns actually had a pretty top pick because this guy here, yeah, he's one of the best players out of that rookie class and that draft class. Wow. Okay, so the Phoenix Suns are looking like a very young, youthful team there. And then we have the Pistons making it to the conference finals in the East, which, my God, that's pretty weird. Not gonna lie. Going against Portland. No offense, uh, Portland. You're getting absolutely schmacked on. That's for sure. Definitely not worried about this team. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. What does this team even have? They have Dame. Dame's not even playing that good. Oh, I thought that was Andrew Wiggins. Interesting. Wow. Okay. I thought that was uh, that was an interesting team they have there. I shouldn't be that scared or worried, but I kind of am now. But I guess we'll see what we can we can we can do with this team. I guess. Um, simulate game. Okay. Game seven. Please don't lose. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> really, really had me scared. Yeah. Sorry, Dame. Yeah, that team is just, they need one more guy. They didn't even re-sign Anthony Simons, which, God, how Portland does that in this, this current NBA season's offseason. Really need Anthony Simons back on that team. But anyways, we have the Lakers NBA Finals against the number one seed, the Atlanta Hawks, number one seed versus the number one seed. Oh, boy. Okay, we take, 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 take game one. Not bad. Oh, okay, game three. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> I was trying to make it a little bit more suspenseful, but dang. I guess it doesn't matter because uh, we're back to back, back to back NBA champions. Holy cow, that's that's really good. Um, and Anthony Davis, pretty pretty good wins finals MVP. I feel like that's a nice little patching, pa patching, passing of the torch to AD for being you know the head guy, the Laker team, him now being 40 years old, um, probably not looking all that great. But you know what? We want to keep LeBron around a little longer. So how about? Seasons NBA draft, we draft Bronny James, and um, he goes to pick 15. So definitely not a high draft pick. So we, I just traded up to get him. I traded like a our current pick and like a second rounder to get up there, and I got him. So that's pretty great. Also, it's pretty great. Chris Paul retired. We gotta find a replacement. Why not Damian Lillard? So in the bronze final season before he retires, we get Damian Lillard and Bronny James to play as long as I don't do. Probably have his favorite people on the planet. LeBron, uh, 
season maybe if he does one of the title is he the goat with this sort of lineup now having another 